Good evening, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. It's Friday, March 29th, and almost 2,000 years ago, on a Friday, Jesus paid the price for our sins. That's why I'm calling this video tonight, The Friday Where You Became Good. That's reality for us. See, apart from Jesus taking the full punishment for all of my sin, for all of your sin, not just the ones that we can remember, but all the other ones, Jesus, he paid the price, the penalty. Familiar passage in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that we might become the righteousness of God. This was the Friday that you and I became good. Not through our own efforts, not through our own merit, but solely because of the work of Jesus Christ. When he declared on the cross that it is finished, there was no more atonement for sin needed. That's why us trying to do something to make ourselves right with God and our own efforts is so foolish and futile. That's why seeking the praise and approval of people over the what we've just read about here is so foolish and futile. Jesus paid the price for our sin. so that we are now the righteousness of God. In some ways, it's almost too painful to even think about. But anything less than that would mean that we would stand before God based upon, on some measure, my merit, your merit. Brothers and sisters, that is the last thing that we want. Yes, what happened to Jesus was unbelievable, horrible, but without it, we would be people with no hope. Because he was willing to honor his father and to take the punishment for my sin and your sin. He wasn't symbolically guilty. He was tragically guilty. All the punishment that I deserve, he became guilty of it. That's why the passage says he became my sin. And God punished him. It wouldn't do any good to punish me. But when he punished Jesus, who was perfect, now God looks at me and he sees the perfect righteousness of Christ. That's our hope on this Good Friday. So do do this little twist on words with me here. Instead of saying Good Friday, say this is the Friday that I became good in the eyes of God because of what Jesus did. And let that be the motivation which moves us forward, which moves us towards bringing honor to God, adding to his reputation with all that we do. It's a powerful statement of reality the Friday that you and I became good. One 
last time here, Paul says, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Because of what Jesus did on that Friday, almost 2,000 years ago today. Thank you so much for being here uh, with me on this day. Focus on what the opportunities are now for what we can do because Jesus made us righteous and good. And that's something we can never lose. And uh, Lord willing, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. It's just such an honor to be able to talk to you each day. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. May God richly bless you as you seek to live for His glory.